Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. I have the Emperor here with the Awakening card. Justice. Seven of Wands. Knight of Wands. Okay. There's a masculine out here who has made some type of mistake, all right? This person is coming into the awareness and the knowing that they have made some type of mistake. Now, the emperor, this could be male or female. This could be you or this could be someone that's in your energy taking however it resonates. The emperor, I'm thinking right now, this is business. It's structure. It's organization. It is taking the lead on something in your life but someone here is going through like an ego death i can tell you right away i'm getting a lot of messages from this um august 4th august 12th could be significant december 4th december 8th could be significant um this may be something that's going to be happening somebody with the the recent like lionsgate portal um someone is coming to the the knowing about themselves this this feels like a lot of self-awareness a major realization that's happening here someone may be under the impression that they're like this very selfless humble noble person but this person is actually in their ego all right someone doesn't realize that they're receiving a lot of resistance in their life because um to be completely honest with you, because the justice card is here in the in the center, somebody needs to tap into their emotions. Um, this is a, a masculine energy. Again, it could be male or female. It could be you or someone else. Someone is so um, focused on fairness, on justice, um, trying to assess and judge situations that they may not realize that they... Somebody just isn't seeing something clearly, all right? This justice card actually has a, a woman on it, and then the emperor card has this. So you could be a divine feminine. You may be calling justice in this situation dealing with a masculine, all right? This person here is most likely experiencing some type of delays, and it looks like with you calling justice on this situation, maybe really putting your head, your... your um. Like really putting your foot down in some type of situation here because the seven of wands is here, which is going to speak of you standing up for yourself, protecting yourself. Um, the seven of wands also can speak of there being a lot of challenges here. And then the Knight of wands, it looks like there's some type of a hiccup here, but some of you right now, um, you could be dealing with someone or this is you. I feel like between now and possibly the rest of this year, there is a major shift that's happening. Um, and, and you're going to have to remain very confident and determined to get out of whatever this cycle is. Again, this may be someone that you're dealing with. Okay. Yeah, the five of swords is here. So somebody is going to definitely have some kind of wake up call here. The five of swords and then the page of cups. Somebody's heart is closed right now. They're they're lacking some type of self-control or self-like awareness. The Six of Swords is here, but it feels like somebody is going to move on to peaceful, calm waters at some point and eventually have the Four of Wands here, something to celebrate. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. There's going to be an ending, but I feel like somebody is going to have to you're going to just have to allow somebody to have this ego death. Just being completely honest. Either this is you or someone that you're dealing with or it's you and another person. There is some type of painful ending or situation here. It's not going to end until someone really shifts their perspective. I feel like, so, seriously, I just keep it. Somebody feels like they are so humble. And they don't realize that they're they're really not humble. You have the justice card here, though, and balance. So there is definitely some type of karmic justice here where you're going to have to use some kind of self-control. I feel like if this is a divine feminine dealing with a masculine, you're going to really have to pull your energy back from this particular person or this situation. 
this this it doesn't matter who this is with it just seems that there's for sure a a very strong feminine energy that is in the center here and this masculine's energy is all around you you're gonna have to call justice on this situation though something has to be done with with some type of self-control and moderation um You may be someone who's very intuitive and therefore you, you can see, yeah, I'm looking at it. You can see that there is a masculine here. They're messing up. Like they're, they're not seeing something. They're not understanding it. Their perspective is all oh, this person is stuck in some kind of self-limiting type of beliefs here. And until they begin to really see something in a different light, it's going to be very hard for them to get to the 10 of pentacles. For them to have security, prosperity, and abundance. Someone is going to have to, with the judgment card here, go through an awakening. They're going to have to have a rebirth. This person's mindset about something is just off. And here you are. You're bringing in judgment. You're going to have to call judgment on this situation. And you have the nine of pentacles here and the eight of wands. This is a very strong message for someone that there's a person in your energy um, you most likely are going to have to just allow this situation to kind of unfold naturally. And I feel that if you feel, if you are in any situation where you are enabling someone, you're going to have to pull back the king of swords here. Yeah. Whether you're male or female, this is someone where you're going to have to look at something in a very objective type of way. The eight of wands, it, you know, it's time for you to move forward. This doesn't necessarily mean for some of you that you have to leave a person behind, but you have to leave a certain way of being or a cycle behind. It's a way of thinking here. What in the heck is happening? Look at this. You have the 10 of cups, the 10 of wands, the ego card, and then the 10 of pentacles and the three of cups somebody i'm telling you this is like a really major spiritual awakening you have 10 10 10 all four tens are out here and but what's standing in the way of the ten of pentacles the security and stability is someone's ego someone's fear somebody does not know how to celebrate or, or whatever and i feel with this three of cups it's like this could be a friend or a family member of yours. You really may want to help this person, but you're dealing with somebody right now who is very controlling and they don't understand that these con this controlling way about themselves is causing conflict in their life. It seems like you may be getting disappointed because this just looks like you can really see the potential for a person but you're disappointed because this person, they're not seeing like their own potential or is something here. You're going to have to be motivated, though, to continue to love yourself and to not allow yourself to be confused. You have free will in a situation here. It, it just this really feels like someone is kind of going through like a rough patch in some type of relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be with a family member. Um, It's like you 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 see the potential in a person you want to help them but it feels like right now you don't need to allow yourself to interrupt this person's karma you're gonna have to let this person free themselves somebody here is stuck in self-doubt they're confused okay this person the king of pentacles they don't really know how to this person is struggling with with becoming successful they it's they're, they're the emperor but there, there is something that they have to learn. This person is still struggling with, with um, this person hasn't healed from something. It's an illusion. The world is here, the moon, and then the wheel. When this person can get over this illusion, then all will be well. This person will then release something. They'll take a leap of faith. They could come in and make you an offer, or they themselves will finally have wish fulfillment. Um, but th there's something that this person is not releasing. This person, somebody here really has to shed like some, some weight from a situation that is old. It's an old situation that this person is still struggling to let go of. And it's not so much a situation. It's a mindset. This person has gotten themselves in a lot of situations because of 
their mindset. And until they change it, they're going to stay in these types of situations. Somebody is just not breaking free because they won't change their way of thinking. This person's heart chakra is blocked. Therefore, everything else is blocked. This is this is one of situations where you deal with the person, you see the potential in them, but you're going to have to love them from afar. And the reason why is because this is their personal lesson to learn or it's yours. If you're constantly facing roadblocks, there's something that you're not seeing. There's something that you're not seeing, you're not understanding. Um, there's a stubbornness here. And until you learn the lesson, you're going to keep on repeating things. A lot of people, if you notice all these tens, and, and even with the recent Lionsgate portal, 888, these are cycles. The, people are coming out of one like eight year cycle going into another one. You cannot go into a new cycle with the same mindset that you had in the previous cycle. You can't have the same habits. Somebody here is a creature of habit. They don't want to change. This can be someone that they need to work on being more organized and more structured. Someone needs to work on taking the lead in their life or, or in their job. Someone needs to learn how to open their heart and, and trust their intuition more. This is just, it's, it's something that is, if, it, if this isn't you, it, it looks like if you're dealing with somebody, it's very clear to you what they need to do, but you're going to have to allow them to do Somebody here, I'm here, you're going to have to let them fall on their own face. And of course, this could have already happened. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, somebody is still carrying baggage. They can't seem to let go of something that just doesn't work. They're, somebody is juggling. They, they And look, the Nine of Pentacles is in the reverse and the Three of Pentacles. Somebody's work life, career, finances, is it's a real problem. Somebody definitely is having issues with just having balance, structure, in their life and it's because of their minds i'm telling you 100 percent. seven of swords yeah and this person is trying to hide acting as if everything is okay it's not this person is trying to come off like they're you know fun spirited all is well they're so happy things are going it's not this person is struck somebody here is really really struggling behind closed doors Yeah. And the wheel is turning here. Some of you, you're looking at, you may be, if you're dealing with this person, you're like, wow, we, we could have, I'm hearing somebody say, we could have had it all. Knight of Cups. You, you may have wanted this person to make you this offer. Okay. The Queen of Wands is here, but I feel like you went from being really passionate, fired up, happy, excited. So right now you're feeling a little bit disappointed. Like this may be a missed opportunity. Let's see. Knight of Wands. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Knight of Wands. You have the Knight of Wands and Temperance and the King of Pentacles. Heavy Sagittarius energy here. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This could be two different people. Or this is one masculine who needs to balance things out. This masculine, this may be one masculine that has earth and fire in their chart. I feel like this person right now is at a crossroads where they are struggling to understand when they need to break out of habit and tradition with this king of pentacles. And when they need to actually take take charge and take action to do something. This person is going to have to balance themselves out. It doesn't matter who this is. This could be even you. It's like somebody is battling against themselves. You have this earth and this fire energy. Earth sign is, again, it's stability, it's security. It's being the creature of habit. It's um, being very focused on worldly things. But somebody here, remember, is still going through a spiritual awakening where this person is realizing that maybe focusing so much on money or long term, somebody needs to live for now. Or somebody is needs to stop living for now and they need to plan for the future. It's something here about an imbalance that's happening though. And somebody is going through an awakening right now. They're going, just plainly put, somebody is going through a dark night of, of the soul. And you don't need to try to carry this person's burdens. Yeah. 
Six of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Somebody wants this, this happily ever after, this prosperity, this abundance. They want this bad. But this person has to go through an awakening. I cannot stress this enough. The Moon, the Death card, and the Judgment card. Awakening. Somebody here has to grow and ascend in order for this wheel to turn. And when it happens, you go straight into the Ten of Cups. This is either you or somebody else. Some of you with this Four of Cups, if it's not you going through this, you may kind of be waiting on somebody to go through an awakening. If you find yourself in like a soulmate twin flame connection, you may be a bit more evolved than your person. And this may be causing you to feel a bit complacent and bored. This is going to shift and change, though. And once again, we have two tens out here. There, You could definitely be seeing like 10, 10 on the clock a lot. 10, 10, the death card, the wheel. Wow. The wheel is the number 10 as well. So there's three tens. There's like blessings that are going to come in tenfold when somebody can actually see the truth in a situation here. The moon and the death card. Yeah. And the judgment. Some of you, the same way this person's going through an awakening, you're going through an awakening as well if this is someone you're dealing with because it's teaching you a lot about not focusing on the negative and not allowing yourself to be like the martyr or a savior in someone's life when, when they have to balance things out themselves. This is not your battle to fight. This is a very clear message to somebody. For some of you, yes, this is a person that you have some type of divine contract with but whatever they're going through right now it's not your battle to fight you should remain much free and liberated this is not and and this connection this connection actually it, it's good it, it's not the connection it's just that somebody here has to see and learn and understand yeah this connection for some of you for sure it, it is 100% destined to be. It's a faded connection. But this tower right now, something has to be torn up. Somebody has to learn a certain lesson. Somebody has to release. It's something that is causing pain here. Somebody could have gotten into a connection while they were still going through a breakup. If, if they have some kind of unprocessed emotions... Now is the time. Yeah, this person left something behind in the past. And, and I don't know how they left the situation, but they're conflicted about it. All right. Now, Venus is in retrograde. Oh, yeah. The devil here, the queen of cups. And the empress. Oh, my goodness. What in the world? And the fool. The magician. Wow. Ace of swords. This is like heavy. This is a very, very spiritual type of reading. This, this to me is all about trusting in divine timing and the process. And it's very difficult to do in a situation like this. I know for some people because discernment is so important. Um, a lot of people have gone through a lot of really tough, toxic situations with friends and family. So it, it naturally is very hard for you to trust. This is a situation that requires a lot of faith, a lot of trust and forgiveness. Being able, and I say this a lot, being able to love like you haven't been hurt before. Somebody here started a relationship, a job, moved, or perhaps both. And they did not fully heal from something else. But you know what spirit is telling me right now? <laughs> wow, this is a double whammy. Some of you are dealing with a person, if this is not you, that has kind of gone from relationship to relationship to relationship. And they have yet to actually heal from the relationship that hurt them the most. Some of you... This if, this if this is you, this heartbreak, whether it's you or if it's someone else you're dealing with, I can almost guarantee you it's not a heartbreak from the most like the last person that this individual was with. Somebody is harboring feelings and emotions from like the last three serious relationships of their life. 
I feel like somebody has literally had maybe three different partners and they've all had the same spirit. And this has caused nothing but a burden to someone. Like, for some, this is you. You're carrying this. For some of you, this is you and someone you're connected with. You're both mirroring each other. If, if there's another person involved, it doesn't have to be. But somebody here has at least three significant relationships. And you could have gotten into a relationship and you had not fully closed out some type of relationship from your past or you hadn't fully healed. This is this feels like someone got into a relationship not knowing that it was going to go towards the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody got into a connection perhaps not knowing that it was going to possibly lead to like something long term, possibly even marriage. And it may, yeah, that's, that's what I'm getting. You, you and this person, you didn't know that this was going to turn out to be so much more. And somebody had not fully healed from something pr prior to getting into this connection. Because somebody had a very toxic connection to this queen of cups. Somebody had an emotional attachment and a connection to someone else. And then all of a sudden, they manifested the divine feminine. Somebody manifested a divine feminine while they still had a soul tie to someone that they had like a, a more toxic, codependent, surface level type of connection with. I feel like a lot of you right now, you're in this queen of wands energy as the divine feminine where you're being assertive, you're ambitious, you know, um, you're really taking advantage of like this Leo energy, this Lionsgate portal energy. You're a, you're a very focused on um, manifesting. And this person is wanting to make an offer to you, but you right now are being advised that you need to hold back and continue on your journey. This is not someone that you necessarily have to say goodbye to, but I don't think that you need to allow this person right now to distract you. You're going to have to, yeah, you definitely have to protect your peace and whatever it is that you are working to manifest because you having self-love and boundaries is what's going to truly bring in wish fulfillment for you, whether it's with this person or someone else. You definitely, though, most likely feel unseen, unheard, a little bit disappointed, and you're starting to wonder if you're regretting this situation because this person is rebuilding. They're starting over. And you're in this time of your life where there is passion, there is victory, there is success. This is really causing you to take a look and try to assess and evaluate, okay, what is really going on here? Because it seems like it's a situation where it's, it's like, you know, can't live with them, can't live without them type situation. You and this person, yeah, strength card. There's a very, very strong connection here. And, and one of you, if not both of you, have a very strong will to move on to peaceful, calmer waters. The chariot is here. This person is really trying to think of a way to move forward. But this person is going to have to understand that yeah this this conflict that they have within is causing them to be left out in the cold or it's going to lead to you leaving this person out in the cold because i feel like this person makes you feel like you're left out in the cold and see you're not confused the two of swords is in the reverse you're not confused because most likely whoever this is for you're very intuitive you know how to discern this energy and your discernment your intuition is telling you that you need to take action right now to call justice in this situation this is not an offer that you need to stress yourself out about because it's like what's going to be is going to be but this person this person this emperor this person has to evolve right now they're elevating this doesn't necessarily have to be someone from your past but i'm going to tell you this when this person fully closes out this cycle, the emperor came out first in this reading with the awakening and the justice card. When this person fully closes out a cycle, they're rushing towards you. Right now, this person has to fully awaken 
in order to give you the type of love that you truly want and that you deserve and that you desire. But right now, the Ten of Swords is here. There is some type of painful ending that this person is going through or that you're going through. They kind of has you at a standstill. You may feel like this person is confused right now about whether or not they want to make an offer. And this is causing stress, fear, and anxiety for you. This person, like I said, this is someone King of Swords. This person right now, they're almost, they're being too cold. They're being too detached and analytical. It's because this person is still hurt by something from their past. So what Spirit is telling you to do is to remain very grounded and stable on your own right now. This person is going to rush into your life and offer you the high level of commitment that you want when they finally come out of this mental imprisonment. This is not something that you have to wait on. You don't need to disturb or interrupt this person's healing. Just let this person be. I, I don't think that you really have to change anything that you're doing in this situation other than your perspective. How if you're looking at this situation like, oh, my goodness, this was a waste of time. This person is going to hurt me. You don't have to look at this in the worst way, but you don't have to sit around and wait on this person or this situation. And you also don't have to run yourself down to the ground trying to prove anything to this person. You don't have to do anything. I'm telling you very clearly here. There's nothing that you have to do. Nothing. This there is a lesson that this person has to learn if they want to present an offer to you, they're going to have to go through the fire. And for a lot of you, let me make this clear from the energy that I'm reading. This may not be someone that you have a lot of history with. I'm not picking up someone from your deep past. I feel like I'm talking to for sure, like a divine feminine who has gone through a lot of healing. You're meeting a masculine and your light is perhaps like irritating them a little bit. It's, it's making them heal. It's exposing their shadow. But this is also exposing your shadow because you may be in an energy right now where you feel like you want it now, you want it now, you want it now. Well, Spirit is saying, well, why do you need it right now? Because most likely there's still opportunity for you to grow as well. Maybe you're not as patient as you should be. So it's like you and another person, like I said, you're both going through like some type of lesson this same energy came out a few days ago it's a serious lesson here in patience and forgiveness whoever this oh look at what fell out twin flame spiritual lesson this is your twin flame and they're teaching you spiritual lessons and you're teaching them spiritual lessons the apology card is sticking out you can expect an apology from this person yeah, this is a soulmate or a twin flame. Or for some of you, somebody here has regrets about dealing with a twin flame or regrets about a karmic soulmate. And now it's time for a new love or a recommitment of love to come in. But it's something that you have to be patient and allow it to unfold in divine timing. What somebody here is going to have to do is learn how to actually be vulnerable. Yeah, your true love is already a part of your life, but you and this person, you need some some distance because you're going to have to let this person understand what this is. This person is still not completely recognizing the magnitude of this connection because they're still this person. Somebody is dealing with a lot of regret from being in some type of karmic situation that they were in before you and this person doesn't it doesn't seem like they are very open right now to being vulnerable because they don't want to be hurt this could be you and or this other person but like i said you're going to have to learn to love like you haven't been hurt before this person somebody here could could be struggling because they haven't received an apology from someone that hurt them really really badly but this is a situation of true love. And it's saying your true love is already a part of your life. So some of you, you know, you could be in a connection with someone and it hasn't gone, you know, towards like serious commitment or marriage. But it's it looks like it's written in the stars, but there has to be patience. This connection is very much protected. 
but someone has to like they have to get over this regret this shame or whatever that they're dealing with from a past relationship and you could have some feelings that you need to let go of as well when it comes to friends family past lovers there's a, a huge blockage here between a divine feminine and masculine and it's because of the regret but Vir virgo um season is coming up i think we have a new moon in leo in the next few days mercury retrograde starts in two days and virgo is in retrograde so people are really thinking a lot about the past really thinking a lot i mean especially when it comes to relationships how people have done you in relationships, you know, how you showed up in relationships, this doom and gloom kind of energy, you're going to feel it. And you always have to keep in mind, you guys, that the world does not revolve around you or me. There's other people that are dealing with the same problems as you. So if you are connected to friends, family, or lovers, those individuals are reflecting over their past and their relationships just like you. So you may have some people right now who are kind of in a bit of, you know, this melancholy like energy because they're thinking about their past and they're they're processing the fact that they're regretful about situations. Some somebody here may be sad because they never told someone that they they were sorry. Okay? This is people thinking, you know, in the past, maybe I wasn't patient enough. Maybe I didn't apologize enough. Maybe I was too prideful. Maybe I was too stubborn. You know, like taking accountability for what you did or this person is doing that. But also thinking about, wow, people, there were some people in my life who never allowed me to be vulnerable. Or there were, you maybe you had people, they never protected you. They never had the right amount of patience. And therefore, those connections, they couldn't work out. So everyone is kind of in this um, Mercury retrograde, Venus retrograde um, energy right now. And it's heavy. But underneath it is something very beautiful here for the people who choose to fully awaken. Okay, you have here attraction. Somebody wants more. Okay. So you could be attracted to this person. They're attracted to you. But both of you want more. You want more passion. But again, somebody right now is in their feelings. You and this person would like to have more passion, more love, more, more desire. But somebody is not really open to that right now because they have not released. Somebody has not moved on completely from a situation. And they have deep regrets about it. Now, for some of you, this could be someone also in your energy that regrets, you know, moving away from you. And therefore, you could be picking up this energy. But you have good karma coming very soon. But for some of you right now, you may have to take some time away from a person. I feel like there's like a twin flame connection out here. And you and this person, there's like a twin flame separation coming up. Because you both have some shadow work and healing to do where you're needing to fully release something from like the karmic relationship that you had prior to this connection. But it looks like you and this person, you have an opportunity to move forward. But look, you just have to do the shadow work and go within and focus right now on self-love and being willing to speak up and have discipline and boundaries. Because you guys are going through an awakening, but... In the end, it's still going to lead to you having blessings of fertility. Someone here is not seeing something clearly because they have a false twin flame in their energy. They're going to come back eventually and tell you that they're sorry or this is you. Maybe you need to take action and tell someone, hey, you know, somebody here in the connection has kind of been tripping a little bit because there's a karmic partner in your energy. And you feel like you have more than one choice, but it's clear as day that somebody is in your energy that should not be. Or this is, like I say, this other person. Wow, look at this. Third party betrayal. Somebody is, is still dealing with the heartache and the pain of some type of deception, dishonesty, betrayal that came from a karmic partner. And it's making it hard for this person to see the importance of them forgiving and compromising 
but something here can lead to marriage but you have to practice forgiveness somebody has to go through this dark night of the soul like i said before to actually grow and realize that you cannot keep thinking that you're going to have this beautiful bright connection when you're still holding on to the darkness and the pain of a past connection even if you choose to reconnect and recommit to someone unless you are willing to let go of everything there won't be any happiness there so this could be someone new in your life that's just coming in with a little bit of baggage or you have baggage or both of you or this could be someone coming back from your past i mean if you're going to let this person back you're going to have to completely let go of all of the betrayal the heartache the pain the cheating whatever happened and allow this person to apologize or you apologize and you move forward i feel strongly though for a lot of you you know and it honestly it's like 50 50 for some of you this is dealing with a past person okay this person wants to reach out and say something to you for some of you if it's not you your person someone from their past wants to reach out or has reached out to them they still have like some kind of somebody is just still looking for closure all right and to be honest with you you know on my channel I always say, we're adults okay um there's no point in people acting like the past can't come back you can be in in the very very happy healthy harmonious successful relationship you cannot control another person so if someone comes in and they want to apologize, there's nothing wrong with you accepting that apology. That doesn't mean that you have to actually reconcile or reconnect with that person. You know what I'm saying? Um, some of you, your either you or your person definitely have people from the past, though, that are trying to kind of pull on your energy. And the entire collective right now is just in this regretful like energy and it's just because of the collective consciousness we i mean literally we have mercury and venus both in retrograde this is this is necessary for everyone to see where they really stand in relationships and you're going to know exactly what you want moving forward after you really look at where you've been so I would say instead of being afraid of this energy, lean into it and see where you need to do things differently. There's a need for a lot of forgiveness and learning how to compromise. Timing issues is here. I feel like this timing issue or our divine flame. Yeah. Cloud nine, pleasure and apology, physical touch. Somebody wants more than friends, soul ties. I'm telling you, somebody met and they didn't know that this was going to go beyond being something casual. Somebody fell in love with somebody that they were not planning to fall in love with and the timing was off. Somebody manifested like a, a counterpart at a time where they were still healing from something karmic before or this is what's happening with you and someone now and so a lot of what you may be experiencing right now is it feels like it's the right person but the wrong time and that may be true maybe somebody in this connection needs more time to heal especially if this is a new person unexpected news so somebody could receive some news that could really change the dynamic of this relationship. It could be good or bad. Oh, dead end. Wow. So somebody could be getting some news right now that, you know, it just doesn't feel like this connection is going anywhere. I, I feel that if this is your situation, you look happily ever after. To me, this feels like a rough patch. It does. It feels like you and someone both are working through situations from your past. You're doing shadow work and healing. The tension, the chaos, and the conflict within you individually and around you 
and this connection, it makes you feel like you're just at a dead end. Also, somebody could be, you know, going through changes with friends, with family, with finances. It's just like life is just happening right now. And with this retrograde energy, your commitment is really being tested. Yeah. But see, peace of mind and happily ever after. Friends with benefits and lovers lane. If, if you're wondering, for some of you, this person, they're going to come back around. Okay. If you and someone are taking a break, this break is needed for for this shadow work and healing. You don't, and the way that you will manifest this, this love is to not allow fear to get the best of you. Really, really do the healing and the shadow work that's necessary right now. Something here is not healed. And you may be telling yourself that you're completely over something that, no, you're not. Missed chances. Yeah, and this person is afraid that this is going to be a missed opportunity because they met you at a time where they were lacking peace of mind. However, this person really wants emotional support and to be very devoted to you. And it's saying here, have faith very soon. Getting to know each other. But this person, you have to allow this person to take accountability for themselves and their own actions. There's still some type of lesson that you and this person need to learn from your past relationships that's going to really help you in having peace of mind and a happily ever after in this yeah clarity somebody needs clarity because right now this feels like a dead end and what it is is this person especially this masculine is going to have to learn how to communicate their feelings this person is going to have to learn how to express themselves yeah but see this takes patience but you and this person you're falling in love or you fell in love. It was like love at first sight. Wow. This connection feels like it's a big deal. But I mean, you know, a lot of really, really great connections, guys, they take work. Some of the best connections, they take work. They take prayer. They take patience. They take work. This is not me saying that. This is like some person that's toxic. If you notice in this reading, there's not the third party energy that I'm picking up here. This is that's not a person that someone is actively with. This is like old residual heartache and pain from a past situation. That's why I'm saying for a lot of you, this doesn't feel like someone that you have had an on again, off again relationship with. I'm not really getting that for a lot of you. This feels like, seriously, you met a great person, but not at the best time. Um, this person may have been feeling like they were at a dead end in their life, even. Like, maybe they got some news about, you know, their job or their family, or they had to relocate, or whatever the case is, a legal situation, something. And they were feeling like they were at a dead end in their life, and then you and this person met, and you're like, peace of mind for each other. They can see this happily ever after but this person is still very afraid to let their guard down and to communicate to you what they're going through because the, right now they may not know exactly how they're going to get through it this is someone it, it feels like they they would like to make plans for a future with you but if you look at what you've been through in the past and your trust issues it will seem like somebody just wants to save you for later. You know, like if you dealt with the third party situations in the past, it's like, oh, this person wants to play games with you. Now, that could be the case for some. But for some of you, again, there's a need for you to change your perspective. This doesn't feel like a person that wants to play games with you. But this person is not completely ready to give you everything. But it feels like they are trying to express that those are their their intentions they have good intentions do you have the patience to allow it to unfold and that does not mean you have to wait on this person it seems like especially this masculine this masculine really just wants to divide from out like like they loved you at first sight they loved you and they are very 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 afraid right now that they may lose you because I feel like this person, they just have stuff going on in their life right now. But when this person 
gets out of this dark night of the soul and they will it seems like they will for sure they will be ready um it really does there's not a negative energy here there's not an energy of like oh you know this person is lying they're they're cheating with multiple people no this person is spiritually awakening and i feel like god has this person in a season of like isolation so they they can't be fully committed to you because this person has to be fully committed to themselves and their journey. And that's actually not a bad thing because you probably should be doing the same. This rejection for some of you is protection. And sometimes what seems like a no is simply just a not right now. kisses it says unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection falling in love yeah this person has fallen in love with you hand of cards it says being strategic not showing hand take a chance this person is not showing you right now how, that they're falling in love and i feel like with this photograph card here and girl with the snake the reason why is because either you or this person still has some type of tie to someone from your past who was very karmic and most likely had you in some type of like narcissistic type of like, yeah, you and or this person, some of you, you and this person both have gone through the same thing. Something here about photos, somebody and then camera, yeah, coffin. If you guys are holding on to pictures of someone from your past, you need to get rid of them. Somebody is reminiscing about a connection with a person from their past and it's keeping you from fully taking a risk. And I have to be totally honest. I don't think that this is only the other person, you guys. I feel like this is you and someone else. You're still not fully. It's like for some of you, you have let go of a karmic situation, but the pain is still there. You're still holding on to old memories. You still have keepsake items. You still have not fully liberated yourself from whatever this situation is with someone from your past who kind of charmed you and was using and abusing you when you put a total end to that situation and you free yourself from the past and you stop thinking that the past is going to re repeat itself that's when paradise will come in for you that's the joy the happiness you know being able to really enjoy yourself some of you right now you're just not showing your true feelings you're too you're terrified to show your true feelings to someone but this relationship, the butterfly, it's revolving into the next phase. But there is a healing of the inner child and a releasing of your past. The regret, the shame, or whatever that you feel like you dealt with from your past. Some of you definitely were dealing with the narcissist. This person was gaslighting you. And it was a lot of codependency. Someone was very controlling and possessive and... Now you're in a connection with someone that you and this person are mirroring each other. But the problem is you and this person are very both like you're both afraid to start over because you've been stabbed in the back. However, coffee cup is here with abundance. Coffee cup, you know, it's like this car, you and this person, you could have just met and had coffee. This could be someone that you're friends with and it just turned into something like, whoa, you and this person actually could have a lot of prosperity and abundance and happiness together, but you're going to have to be honest. This situation that you have here, the clock, this situation is going to take time. But it could lead to an engagement ring. However, 
somebody is deeply hurt and sad and they're going through a heartbreak. Some, th this is not like a someone actively going, I guess it's just, res it's past energy resurfacing that someone has not fully dealt with. And I feel like it's, again, it's you and this other person. Somebody here has not like completely accepted that wow. Or I think that that's what has someone um, really feeling going like, wow, I really have to start over. Especially those of you who have been waiting for a long time for like this false um, counterfeit person that you, maybe you thought was a twin flame. You um, you may be feeling right now like, wow, this, this really didn't work. And now to open your heart up to somebody who is truly devoted to you, it's very, very scary. And it's, it's, it's really hard for you because a lot of you, you're dealing with a twin flame. So the same thing that you're afraid of, they're afraid of. Same thing you're going through, they're going through. This is going to work out though. Even if it doesn't work out with this person, there's just a lesson here in you learning how to fully release and let go that is going to be very beneficial to you. So that, you know, even if it's not with this person, you're still going to have your happily ever after. But you need to try to not be in this energy of thinking that everything is a dead end because something that you really wanted did not work out the way that you wanted it to. Okay. There's a lot of love here. To be honest, there's a lot of love. And it's meant for you to have it. But you have to love yourself enough to say that you deserve this and not hold on to what nearly broke you in the past. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. And your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. And then you have here a time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. We have a new moon in Virgo that is actually happening, if I'm not mistaken, it's happening in like two days. The new moon in Virgo. I said new moon in Virgo. I'm so sorry. D don't. I'm this wrong. It's not a new moon in Virgo. <laughs> There's a new Virgo season starts. Um... Virgo season starts next week on the same day that Mercury retrograde begins. The Virgo new moon is September 14th, which is a month from today, I think. But it's a time to give rather than take. Wow. So for some of you, it's a time for you to really pour into yourself. Um, you may even find yourself pouring into, you know, your loved ones a bit more at this time. But again, have boundaries. You know, don't let your your past hold you back. Don't don't fall into like a codependent situation. And this is where I, I don't know this. This is very um, it's a very spiritual reading because I just see here where it's like it's a very thin line between a lot of things. It's a very thin line um, of you learning when you're doing too little and doing too much. It's, you know, trying to understand coming from toxic connections when you are pouring into something that's a dead end versus you actually offering support to someone you know who truly can appreciate it um so balance your spirituality and practicality full moon in pisces there is a full moon in pisces this month that's coming in two weeks okay and bring love into this situation new moon in aquarius and then new moon in libra a new romantic cycle begins